Aloha. Your favorite friend with questionable character, Aloha, Mr. Hand. With a Thursday night White Sox status report brought to you by our friends at From the 108. And of course, Jack Daniels. So, leading off the news that was on, was expected, but still great to hear. Jose Abreu is the 2020 AL MVP. Let me repeat. Jose Abreu is the 2020 AL MVP. I can't think of a better player, better person to win this award. Uh, more than deserving. He has been the beacon of light in an otherwise miserable decade of baseball. I mean, some of those teams were just god-awful. And he was always there. He was the rock. He was the consistent one. You know, driving in 100 runs every year, 30, you know, 30 homers. Uh, this year leading MLB. MLB in RBIs with 60, 60 RBIs in 60 games. Not too bad. So congratulations, Jose. Well-deserved. I am hoping that fans are able to attend opening day so that we can all give you the standing ovation you deserve. And you do deserve it in so many different ways on so many different levels. Next bit of news. Looks like the White Sox... Based on a report from uh, Barstool Sports, White Sox Dave, a.k.a. the mayor of Scoop City, uh, are hiring Ethan Katz as their pitching coach. Uh, If that name sounds familiar, it's because he was the high school pitching coach for not only Lucas Giolito, but Max Fried and Jack Flaherty at the same time. Think about that pitching staff. For a high school pitching staff, damn, how'd they ever lose a game? But that looks like who is going to be the next pitching coach for the Chicago White Sox. Is it a great move? I don't know. Only time will tell. I mean, you know, some people will say this is the greatest thing ever. Some people will say it's the worst thing ever. I don't think you can make that assessment one way or the other until you actually see results. I'm hoping that what he did with Giolito, he can also do with Cease and with Raylo. So only time will tell. Uh, also, it seem, it sounds like that the White Sox will be announcing their entire coaching staff sometime next week. So stay tuned for that. My expectation personally is that whoever is the bench coach is the apprentice to Tony La Russa and is the heir apparent uh, when Tony decides to step down in a year or two, whatever it may be, because I don't see Tony having a long shelf life as manager of the White Sox based on age, to be honest with you. I'm not going down that path for the other stuff. I'm not going there. It's too hot of an issue. Too many people are getting angry with other people because they don't share the same opinion on certain things. So I'm not going there. I'll just say one thing so all you people understand this and don't fly off the handle. I do not condone drunk driving. Read my lips. I do not condone drunk driving. So don't even start that crap in responding to this. Last bit of news is the White Sox radio broadcast starting in 2021 will be on ESPN Radio 1000. Uh, It sounds like uh, Darren Jackson will return as the uh, color analyst. And it sounds like that Andy Mazur is in consideration as the play-by-play man. But I'm sure that with him, there's issues with the... I believe he has a contract with WGN because he does other things besides White Sox play-by-play with them. So it's probably, if it is him, it's probably a matter of negotiating out of that and doing all that stuff to get all that squared away before they can officially name someone. Or it might be that they are negotiating with someone else to bring them back home. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone stays safe because, you know, I don't know, for those of you who aren't in the Chicago area, Mayor Lightfoot is ordering uh, lockdown starting Monday morning. You know, basically everyone stays home. Uh, So we'll see how this goes. Get this under control. Thanks a lot, everyone. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Oh, and one more thing. I haven't done this for a while. 
but considering Jose won, now's a good time as any. So, Jose, congratulations. Have a good night, everyone.